All right, hi y'all. We're back at the dog park. Today is Tuesday, the 29th of June. We got one more day for June, y'all. Are you guys excited about July? I am kinda, besides my credit card balances. Other than that, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I went to work, I went to Kohl's, and did my little five hour shift, got off at 11, got home, and I just took the girls out. So we're just at the dog park, letting them just roam free. And then we'll go home and relax. I will say, I will say this, that I've been going to sleep super early, around like 8, 9 o'clock. Whereas I used to go to sleep around like 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Because I just have nothing to do. I'm not interested in anything like watching stuff. I'm not interested in doing nothing. So I was like, you know, versus me being frustrated from my lack of interest, I'm just going to nap. I'm just going to sleep. But I don't sleep during the day, which is a good thing. So that's a big difference. Um, I still want to do something with my hair. I, what I really want to do is individual braids. But we got You guys know that that stuff takes time. And I will say uh, again also that our next week's um schedule came out at work and i'm working sunday through friday no sunday through friday hold on sunday through thursday or sunday through friday don't quote me i forgot which one it is but it is back to back so all this week i got saturday off and then i gotta go to work saturday sunday so yeah, in regards to me picking up jobs with shifts by snag a job, how likely is that going to be in this between this week and next week? Not really, not really at all because when I get home, I just want to relax some. Unless I pick up a night shift, but I'd rather work at Amazon if I do a night shift somewhere. I don't know. If and when I pick up my second shift at a uh, shift by snag a job, I will let you guys know. But yeah, I just wanted to let you uh, know that we're just at the dog park right now. And second day in, I got two more, three more days left. And yeah, of work back to back. I really didn't want to go into work today. I did not. <laughs> I'm just like. I'm not in the mood, but I made it in anyways, and, you know, I'm just trying my best to put food on the table, pay my bills still, so, that's what, that's what keeps me pushing, <laughs> just trying to be an actual human being that's taking care of business, it's hard enough, and I know other people, we all have our our things in life that we deal with you know that sometimes you just want to shut down and be like I'm tired <laughs> I'm just tired I'm tired of adulting that's what it is it's adulting it's adulting um yeah so I think for dinner we have another bird's eye dinner at home so I think I'm gonna make that for dinner versus uh, another day of chicken nuggets and french fries because <laughs> that's kind of getting old I can't wait to go grocery shopping I may go grocery shopping today but I just feel like we're doing a lot of grocery shopping that's what I feel like like unbudgeted grocery shopping I think I'm gonna update or increase our grocery budget is it because food is more expensive now I don't think that's the case I just, I just haven't been looking for deals. Besides for fruit, that's the only deals I've been looking for. I haven't been looking for deals. And you know what's funny? Let me tell you all this. What's really funny is this. That when I make a lot of money or more money than I'm making right now, I like to be on a budget. Which is the opposite. Because when I don't make a lot of money, I don't want to feel restricted. <laughs> I know it's a mind game, but I'm like, I don't want a budget. Nobody going to tell me what I cannot and cannot do. I'm doing the best I can right now. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Like, when I don't make a lot of money. It's like when my husband passed away. When I went down part-time, that's how I got into debt. Because 
I didn't want to be on budget. I didn't want a budget. So I just did whatever I wanted. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And that's what I'm not really doing that right now. I'm doing it with a conscience <laughs> and knowing what I'm doing. But still, it's just still the same thing. And I just have to just get back on a budget and find a day to go grocery shopping. And I don't know. I just think I'm still just getting used to the lower income deal, you know. That's what it is. I just got to wrap my mind around it. And I have a lot of other things going on that I haven't told you guys about. So there's just a lot going on in my world. And versus us, we're not eating out though. So that's a good thing. So, hey, I don't mind spending money on groceries versus eating out. At least with groceries, it lasts a day or two more versus eating out just lasts for that one meal. So... Yeah, y'all. All right. I'm going to let y'all go. All right. Bye.